Hey guys, welcome back to my page. I hope everybody is great today. Today we are going to do a coffee mug. I've had a few people asking me, can you do ceramic coffee mugs? Can you do plastic? Yes, you can. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have a ceramic uh, coffee mug that I have. Um, I got it from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Here we go. Okay, so first things first, we cleaned up our coffee mug here and I wanted to make sure that I can put it on my turner and that it will turn without hitting the bottom of my turner. This turner, it fits perfect on, but maybe the other turners, they don't. So always make sure that when it's coming around, it's not gonna hit anything, which I have a good clearance. There's, it's not even touching. So um, this cup has been cleaned. Uh, there was a sticker on the bottom. It's been removed, got all the stickiness off of it. I sand it down just a little bit, just to put some scratches on it. Then I took it outside and used the Resnoleum, uh, two times ultra cover, flat. You can use whatever one you want. It's gonna be just fine. But this is the one that I use. I put a good solid one coat on that. It's drying, but what it does is it just makes it to where the glitter is gonna stick on there so much easier. Okay, so the supplies that you're gonna need, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do Mod Podge on this. Um, I normally would just do the epoxy on it, but we're gonna do it with the Mod Podge this time. So I do have Mod Podge. I have the water-based seal glue and finish. Um, that's it. Then we're gonna use uh, spinet white. It has a very little glitter to it. Um, for this cup, the person really is not a glitter fan, so we don't wanna have too, too much sparkle. You're gonna need a brush, okay? And then you're gonna need a tray to put your Mod Podge in. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna apply some Mod Podge too. And you're gonna wanna cover your, your cup thoroughly. Get it all over the cup. The reason why I decided to do this, cause we're gonna be doing um, a different technique and I want it to kind of dry fast. So I wanted it to get um, covered and dry fast. You know, if you put Mod Podge on there, it dries quickly and then you can move to the next stage of your cup. So this is Zeus. He is the reason of the Zoob's creation. This is what he does when I'm making cups. He's gotta be right there and involved. So that's where the name came from. That's actually a picture of our dog. He's a husky. He's spoiled, spoiled little baby. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep applying the Mod Podge all over the cup. Make sure you get the rim up here. And you can do this in sections. So if you want, you can Mod Podge one little part and then apply so that's what i'm going to do and then you can apply your glitter to where you've already put mod podge right so let's get this open let's see if he's going to let me do a cup normally he'll nudge me while i'm busy all right so what we're going to do is we're just going to cover where the mod podge is nice and thick just cover it thick, thick, thick. I think the thicker your Mod Podge is, he's gonna, this dog always has glitter all over him. It's so funny. Um, but the more Mod Podge you put on there, the thicker, the more of the glitter it will grab. So this is what you're doing. You're just gonna keep covering it. Do a little tap, tap. All right. Ow, what are you doing? So you're just gonna do a little tap. Get the excess of it off and you can see where the glitter is it's so pretty though I mean even if you wanted to do just this 
you know, on a certain part of the cup, it would be so nice. You could do it however you want. That's the, the fun of making cups is you can make them however you want. So I haven't done the bottom yet, so I can go ahead and stand that up. Put this back in your container. I need to get a shaker for this. So that way it's easier to... All right. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some more Mod Podge in the area that we don't have any glitter. If you get it on your brush, it's not a big deal. Here he is. What? You help mommy? You gonna help me? Yeah? He's not a big helper. He's actually, he makes me mess up sometimes because he nudges my arm or he gets up on my, up on me. What? Uh, don't knock over the glitter. What? What do you want? What can I do for you? What I just took him out, so I didn't think that he'd be bothering me, but I was wrong. So you're just going to continue to apply your Mod Podge everywhere that you don't have glitter. And then you're just going to do this through the whole cup until it's covered. And if you want to do like um, ombre, then you would just Mod Podge half of it, or you can Mod Podge the whole thing and only just do the bottom half. Um, right now, this cup, they're playing, this cup is just gonna be a solid white right now. And then you'll see what else we're gonna do to it. It's gonna make it look really, really pretty. So this is a Valentine gift that we're making. So make sure that you get in your handle really, really good. Make sure you get all up in it around the little cracks because you want it to be fully, fully, fully covered. Okay. Spike, be nice. Spike. I have a Jack Russell and they're and Zeus is trying to play with him and he's like not having it. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and apply and you're gonna do, just apply it like you did the first time. And you're just gonna go on the handle, you're just gonna turn it so it gets like every little angle. Hey, what do you want? Comment below if anybody on here does crafts and their dog has to be involved. But that's where the name came, basically, because when I'm making cups, he's always nudging me in the way. So we were like, well, let's just name it after him. What? What? What do you want? I don't know what he would want. He's got food, water, went to the bathroom. This is what he does. All right, so what I do is kind of just add it another little layer to kind of thicken it up if if I need, if I missed a spot. <laughs> what are you doing? You're gonna tap, tap, make sure you get all the extras off. All right. And then you're gonna get all your glitter back out. Oh, he's sitting down for now, but it won't be for long. Okay. Get it open. Alright. It's actually turning out really pretty. I love the, the color that's on there. I think a little piece of my brush was coming off. Okay. So it's pretty covered on this part. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the bottom with the Mod Podge. And then we're going to put it on the turner and we're going to let it dry for a while. Once it dries, then we'll go to the next step. Oop, 
I always get out of the camera. All right. So you're just putting a light layer, go all the way around the rim. That way it all connects with the glitter that you've already put on there. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our glitter to the bottom. Keep adding. All right, you see? So just check it and make sure that it's covered really good. Shake off any extras and then put it on your turner, let it dry. And then we'll see if we need to do another coat. Sometimes you may have to, but because I sprayed this cup white, we shouldn't have to add another coat of glitter. It should be pretty good and covered. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. But once it dries, you'll be able to tell a lot better if you need to add glitter. So now we're just gonna let this turn on here for maybe about 20, 30 minutes so that the Mod Podge is fully dry. And then we are going to clear coat it and then we are going to put a layer of epoxy on the coffee mug. So here we're just gonna let it dry before adding a clear coat. Okay. All right, so I went outside and I gave it a clear coat over the glitter. And this is the clear, what I use. So now we've sprayed everything um, so that the glitter doesn't come off when we start to apply our epoxy. So now we're just gonna let this dry. So here I'm applying epoxy to the coffee mug. Make sure that you get it thoroughly all over the glitter. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Get your handle really good. Get the top and the bottom really well. It moves a lot. I believe I did 30 mil of A and B epoxy, mixed it very well. So make sure that you apply every little drop of that epoxy on this coffee mug. You will notice that I am making sure that I have epoxied every inch of this cup. We want the cup to be covered in epoxy before we could start our next stage. Now that we have applied our epoxy thoroughly on the whole cup, covering the rim, the top, the bottom, the handle, making sure that you don't feel any glitter and that it's smooth. 
you're going to take a torch and you're going to run it over it go fast um, it does look like I'm touching the cup but I'm actually a distance away from it and I'm going kind of fast make sure you do that thoroughly to get, pop all the bubbles all right guys so today is the next day what I did was is I kept the cup on the turner uh, throughout the night and let it dry and then um, I went ahead and I sand this down and now we're gonna go to the next stage of this cup let's do it all right so we have Dawn and this is the super wash it's gonna foam spray we're doing this on our coffee mug that we sand down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this where I want to put my decal so that when I spray paint I'm gonna put that where I want my decal so wherever I spray paint there won't be anything there so I'm trying to make sure you can see it because I'm um... all right and then we're gonna do a light spritz spray okay now we're gonna take this spray paint and we're gonna spray this cup. All right, let's see, hopefully y'all can see. All right, and then we're gonna take the hose and rinse it I apologize ahead of time that you guys can't see the cup very well but it's hard to hold the right, camera and, and do the cup at the same time So now we have it on the turner. We're gonna let it air dry, making sure there's no water. All right, guys, so check out this coffee mug. Isn't that beautiful? So now we're just gonna let this completely dry and we're gonna do a part two so you can see how this turns out at the end. So comment below what you guys think of this technique. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put an end to this video. I hope you liked it. Zeus, he liked it. Oh, I guess he, oh, he wants a belly rub. He wants a belly rub. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put an end to this video. Please like, su subscribe, and click the bell so you can get notifications for the next video. Say bye, Zeusy. Say bye. Oh, pfft. I got a mouthful of kisses. Mwah. Bye, guys.